Okay, so I picked up uh, the airport time capsule so I could have wireless backups and also so that it has the new 80211 AC wireless settings. So it's like the fastest AC, um, wireless router that I think they sell right now. So I'm going to show you how I set this up with my Verizon wireless router. And this is not like really an unboxing because I already kind of did it just because I had to like figure out how to do it so I figured before I make a video of me doing it let me at least just make sure it works so if I open, uh, if I take the box away here it is so it's, it's a little thing, it's not too bad um, right now it's sitting on my uh, table here but I probably will put it on the floor once I'm done with everything anyway the only thing that comes in the box is the actual time capsule and the plug so that's it, you plug it in and um, that's pretty much it. The green light in the front there, when you first plug it in, is amber. And after a while, it starts to blink. And that's once you, I think you plug the internet into it. And then once you set it up on the computer, it turns green and it means it's like good to go. So down here I have the Verizon wireless router. And what you do is you take one of the LAN ports see the yellow four ports are like internet out that white port would be internet in although with the cable modem I actually have a cable going in so you take one of the WAN, uh, the LAN ports out it doesn't matter which one and you basically plug that into the WAN port or the it's just I think it's called the WAN port but it's basically the internet in which is the bottom port on this so it gives you three other ports that are internet out, so you can plug other things in. And there's a USB drive, which I haven't really played around with yet. So basically that's how I'm getting the internet. And right now, until I turn off the Verizon wireless, because you could turn off the wireless section of the wireless router, um, it's going to continue to use the Verizon wireless. So I'm going to go upstairs, I'm going to show you how to set up the time capsule on the Mac and I'm going to show you how to shut down the Verizon wireless so that you start using the 802.11ac from the time capsule. All right. Okay, so after you set up the airport time capsule to the router, in my case I used a, I'm used i using a Verizon wireless router, um, you have to come up to the Mac and set it up. So what you do is you open up the airport utility and that can be found, you just use you know, open finder and just search for airport utility and when it comes up you'll see the internet and you'll see the airport time capsule should find that now when you first open it up the first time these little green dots would I think are that amber color that the time capsule was when I first plugged it in when you first plug it in it's like an amber color instead of green so until it's actually up and running uh, I think it shows that amber color but what you need to do to set up the time capsule is you just have to like double click on the actual picture of the time capsule and that brings up this information and then you just go to the edit field and now once you hit the edit field uh, it brings up like I guess you call the, this advanced settings or something for the, um, the network so the base station name that's just whatever you want to call the base station I just, you know, like use this default name that I had, uh, the password, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, the internet, that's, I use this DHCP, some people use static, but I'm not really 100% sure, and it defaulted to the DHCP and it works pretty good, so I left it alone. Um, this DNS server, 192.168.1.1, that's actually will come into play a little later when I get to the Verizon network because I want to actually turn off the wireless router in Verizon so I'll show you how I do that um, click on wireless here this is the network name this is the security and the, the password that you gave it um, the only problem I had with between this and the wireless router is that the, the, the wireless security was different the wireless router from Verizon had WEP security and this is WPA, WPA2 security so uh, all the Apple products seem to so what I did was uh, I just had a little crash on the old uh, screen capture so let me just start again the um, the wireless uh, security type was different so 
I have a DVD player where I use, uh, like I watch Netflix on that connects wirelessly and it wasn't picking up these, the, uh, you know, the signals. So what I did is I had to delete that, um, internet connection and I had to refind the new, you know, the network, uh, and then re put the password in and I manually set it in with this type of security and then it worked fine. Also, I have one windows PC in my house and that also wasn't connecting right off, you know, like automatically. So I just deleted the network connection. It refound it. I put the password in and it worked fine. So, but as far as like, if you have an iPhone or I guess iPad or, you know, the iMac, uh, any Apple product, just it, the network came up. I selected that network. It had the same password as before. So it worked out pretty well. Uh, if I hit the network here, now this is one other important thing that I read is that you have to leave it on off bridge mode. And discs, if you have this, if you have a, um, the time capsule, you could, I guess, partition the disc and all that stuff, but I just left that alone because I just use that for backups. So that is that. Uh, let me just show you now. Once you get all this set up with and you put the password in, then you should see the internet turn green and the time capsule turn green. Uh, let me show you now how to do the Verizon website. Because that is uh, the last step. Because what will happen is you'll have, um, it'll still use the Verizon internet instead of using, um, you know, like a time capsule. And the time capsule is the 802.11 AC, which is the latest and greatest wireless, um, you know, type of wireless connection. It's the fastest. And I think it supposedly beams the wireless signal to the computer that needs it or something like that. So, the Verizon one was 802.11n, I believe, and I'll show you how to check that out. Let me just one second. All right, so to see how you, you know, your network is connected, to see what the actual um, connection is, you have to, you know, you can click on this to see the actual networks, but it doesn't really tell you like how it's connected or what kind of um, what like router, you know, uses 802.11n, G, AC. So the way to tell is to hold down the option key and then click on this. So you go click and now you can see this is 802.11ac. So before I actually turned off the Verizon wireless, I um, had, I think it was 802.11n. So now you can see it's 802.11ac. So let me show you how to turn off the Verizon wireless uh, router. All right, thanks. All right, to get to the Verizon website that you need to go to turn off the wireless, you're actually just going to go right into the menu bar and type in that IP address, 192.168.1.1. It takes you to this main Verizon site. And what you want to do is click on wireless settings. And let me just scoop this up a little. Go to the basic security settings. And then there's a radio button right there that just says wireless on. And it should be on if you have the wireless internet through Verizon. Just click on off. When you click on off, the Verizon wireless is no longer working. And then the time capsule picks up. So then you get the 802.11a. All right. Well, I think that's that. Uh, hopefully this helped you out. And if you, if you are in the market to back up you know, do the time capsule backups and you also want a really fast internet wireless connection. I think it's, it's a real decent system. Um, you know, for the three terabyte, it was three ninety nine. The two terabyte is two ninety nine. So it's definitely not the cheapest option out there, but I think it works seamlessly if you have a Mac. So, and it's, I think the fastest internet connection you can get wirelessly right now. So I think it's definitely a thumbs up, uh, definitely buy if you are in the market for that. So hopefully this helped you if you're on the fence, if you're thinking about it. And um, any questions, just throw it in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. All right? Thanks a lot. Talk to you later.